Well, there's a big shortage of truck drivers. More than 50,000 drivers are needed to meet the demand from companies such as Walmart and Amazon. Our Kayla Carlisle joins us now live. Kayla, what do folks have to do to get certified? Well, first, Connor, you have to get a commercial driver's license, also known as a CDL. And in order to get that CDL, you have to pass a written and physical exam following program training. The industry keeps asking us for more and more and more drivers. According to government statistics, the median pay for the trucking industry is $42,000 a year, with some folks reaching as high as six figures. Some companies are even offering signing bonuses. But yet the industry is still in high demand for drivers. A part of it is, is just not knowing, uh, just not having gotten the word out about uh, the opportunities there. Calhoun Community College President Joe Burke says truck driving offers a lot of benefits outside of the pay. I think the excitement of just getting behind the wheel of a big truck is exciting and, and seeing the countryside, uh, driving down the interstate and uh, seeing the sights. Calhoun offers training to become a CDL certified driver through a 160 hour program. There's some classroom work to do and uh, then uh, most of it is hands on in, in the truck. In order to obtain a CDL through Calhoun, you must complete the 160 hours of their program. Training sessions can be found every month and classes are offered on the weekends as well as throughout the week. The price of training is just under $3,000, but funding is available to those who are eligible. But there are disadvantages to being on the road so often. Most drivers recommend getting into the business, but warn interested drivers of things such as lack of space, wasted road time, and paperwork. There's some, a lot of trucking companies encourage uh, husband and wife teams. Now for more information on those husband and wife teams or just how to get your CDL, make sure to go to rocketcitynow.com or download the Rocket City Now app. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WCDX News.